Hi everyone, thank you so much for coming back. I've got four new styles from Beltras. I decided to put them all in one video for you along with timestamps or chapters listed down below in the description box so you can hop over to whatever style you prefer or see them all. We'll go outside to see the colors in natural light and I'll describe them for you. I'll tell you about the wigs, I'll tell you about the permatees, and I will tell you about the density. I'll also be talking a little bit about the differences between Celine and Stella. Today I've got Caroline, Celine, Stella, and the one that I'm wearing, which is Maura. Based on the stock photos, Celine and Stella look very similar. So I will be letting you know what's the differences between those two. Again, timestamps are listed down below for you in the description box. I'd like to thank Shirley's Wig Shop for providing these four styles for me so I could review them for all of you. The links to each of the styles will be listed down below in the description box. I hope you hop on over to Shirley's Wig Shop where she is offering 35% discount on all of these from the Lux Collection at the time of this recording. Mara is the one that I am wearing right now. This is the shortest in the ones that I'm going to be showing you. Mara is in the color Ginger Ale Blonde. That is an 825 613. So we have a brown, which is the 8. I don't, it must be a really warm brown because I am really not seeing a whole lot of brown in this color. We have a 25, that is a strawberry blonde there, and we have some blonde, some pale blonde. It is a beautiful, beautiful color if you like these warm blondes, these strawberry blonde kind of colors. I know that they don't go with my skin tone, but it's not about me. It's about me giving you the information. There is absolutely no root on this color. Mara has sides of 10 inches, and a nape of three and a half inches. The overall is 10 and a half. Mara only weighs three, 3.1 ounce. There is absolutely no permatease, and this has got to be one of the, the lightest density wigs that I have ever put on my head. Very, very light density. It, it's like, you don't even feel it. I was really surprised when I put it on my head. I think the lightest wig similar to this that I have worn, I think was Brooklyn by Henry Margu. And that was very light density. If you like a very light density, absolutely no permatease, and you like this length, Mara will be a good, a good choice for you. Let me show it to you on all sides. The lace is very, very narrow on, on Mara. Very narrow lace. As Let me see if I could lift it up a little. See that right there? And there is, it doesn't bother me one way or another. The other thing that I found with Mara, even though I love the style, I love this light density, and I'll probably get another one in another color. Uh, I think the part is a little bit dense. Even though this is a full mono top and we can part it anywhere we want, I feel the part is, is pretty dense. Now, it could be that this, that I was sent a sample so I can get this review out for you because this is just, this is still in the pre-order stage. I'll probably get another one and I'll let you know if there is a difference. The All of these that I'm going to show you all are from the Lux collection. They all have the same cap. They all have a full, fully hand tied cap with a, a an ear to ear lace front. We have the polyurethane at the ear tabs or maybe it's silicone. We have the, we don't have an extended nape. It's a partially extend or half of an extended nape. And we have the pull type adjusters. Very, very comfortable cap. And I feel that it, it fits a true average with a little bit of extra stretch to it. So this is Mara from Beltrass and this is the color Ginger Ale Blonde. And here we have Caroline. 
also from the Lux collection. This one is in Sunkiss Almond. The color code for Sunkiss Almond is 427, 613 plus 8. This is one of my favorite colors from the Lux collection. We start out with a 4, which is your darkest brown. We have a strawberry blonde or a dark auburn. I would say it's more, yeah, it's an auburn at 27. And we have some blonde, some pale blonde running through. So this is a neutral color, leaning warm. And we have an eight root, which is your brown. I think it is absolutely gorgeous with the blonde framing, uh, framing on the face. Lots of highlights and low lights. Show you the lace front. Now this lace is, I think it's a lot nicer than I saw on Mara. While it's still narrow, there's still like a little bit there at the end. I also think the part, the parting is done nicely on this one. Let's part it somewhere else so you can see how it appears. See, that is a really, really nice part. And it, you know what it could be also that it shows up more because this color has the root while the ginger ale blonde it doesn't have a root. So maybe it blends in with, uh, with the hand tied, with the mono top. The style, Caroline, we have sides of 14. We have a nape of 12 and we have an overall of 20 inches. Caroline weighs 5.3 ounces. This style, lots of barrel curls here. If you need a style that you can create in an updo, I think Caroline would be gorgeous for it. If you love these barrel curls, if you need something for an event, Caroline will probably be one to look for. Even though we do have a long piece here and it appears to be a lot of hair it doesn't it doesn't feel to be more higher density than we would expect on such a long piece we also have no permatease whatsoever these are hand tied caps so we're not going to have that permatease we don't have any permatease at the nape we don't have any permatease at the top it's very flat up here but when we come down here we have these beautiful uh, these beautiful barrel curls. I think the style is beautiful. If you are someone that is looking for a style that you could wear in an updo or that you can wear uh, for, a, for a special event, of course you can comb it out, you can strain it because these are heat friendly fibers. And my hairline and this it was the same exactly the same on all of the pieces that I that I've reviewed from the Lux collection all right let's go on to the next one before I apply Celine I do want to let you know that this color code I may have misspoken and when I reviewed Louis and oyster the color code for oyster is 1B60-1001. 1B is an, is an off black or a black. 60 is your white and 1001 is the platinum. And you notice down here we have that blend of that 1B. I think, I, I believe I called it, uh, I said it was similar to a 38 when I reviewed um, Louis but it still looks like a 38 to me. It doesn't appear to be black. It appears as a very dark gray, but I wanted to point it out to you. There is no root on this color. Please note that Oyster in the Lux collection is different from Oyster Gray in the City collection. In the City collection, you're not going to have that 1B at the, at the nape. We're not gonna have that, it's just going to be all one color again with no root but I wanted to point out that in the Lux collection it's the oyster does have that piece underneath all right let's try this one on I don't usually I don't wear grays without a root but you know the drill it's not about me this is a very very long piece 
Celine has sides of 18 inches. Your overall is 18 inches. The nape is 10 inches and it weighs a total of 5.6 ounces. Let me take away that zigzag. For those of you that love grays, I think that you would love this color, especially if you don't care for a root. I don't want to add any product or anything to it. I just want you to see what it looks like right out of the box. I am going to add a little bit of water just to separate the fibers. Celine seems to run on the larger end of average because I feel it. I didn't uh, move the adjusters any. Okay, so let's take a look at the lace front. Again, very, very narrow lace and the fibers come all the way to the lace. So if you don't like a wide lace, you would definitely like this one. I would definitely have to do something with these fibers, probably um, train them. I just think that it was really nice of Shirley to loan these to me so I could review them for you since I've had so many questions on them. Let me show you uh, Celine on all sides. And then I'm going to go over the differences between Celine and Stella. Once again, absolutely no permatees. And even though it weighs 5.6 ounces, it doesn't feel very heavy. It, it, I mean, we have no permatees. And on a style this long, I think the density is a little bit, a little bit higher down here. But if you wanted to wear it, in a ponytail as you can see I could put my fingers around it. it it's not high density under under six ounces for such a long piece I don't feel it's high density that's if you're used to wearing long pieces I think that you'll know exactly what I'm talking about And this is Stella in the color Pumpkin Pie Spice R. The color code is 2730-613-8. We have an 8 root, that's your brown. The 27 is that strawberry blonde. And it's blended with a 130. 130 is an auburn, a red, that is lean with a violet. It's a very deep color. So we have a really nice dimensional color. Nevertheless, I feel that it's really leaning, uh, it's leaning warm. I feel there's more of the 27 in the blend than the 130. And there is a little bit of blonde to give it that dimension. Absolutely gorgeous color if you prefer the reds. Beautiful. All right, this appears very much like the Celine that I just took off. The difference is that Stella has layers and Celine has no layers. Celine is 18 inches all around. With Stella, we're going to have a side bang of about 10 inches. There it is right there. Where on Celine, it was all, as I mentioned, all one length. We have lots of layers on the sides between 10 inches and 21 inches. And the nape is going to be a little bit longer than we found on Celine. The nape on Stella is 16 inches and the nape on Celine is 10 inches. So overall, it's going to look very similar in the stock photo. But if you look at the dimensions really closely, you'll see that Stella has a lot of layering in it, which Celine doesn't have. All right, let's take a look at the lace front on this color. And we have some of the blonde. It's all blended in together of the three colors. The pale blonde, the strawberry blonde, and that deep auburn color. But you don't see any purple in this color. It really is beautiful. Again, 
no permatease whatsoever. And the density, so, uh, Stella weighs 5.4 ounces, just like we found on Celine. If we wanted to make a ponytail, it would be very, very, very small ponytail. As you can see, I can get my fingers around it, and that's because we don't have high density. If you are someone that loves long pieces, I think that you would love any one of these styles because, yes, they are long, but they're not heavy, especially since they don't have any permatease and it's such light. It's, it really is a light density for such a long piece. Thank you, everyone. If you have a favorite from one of these, please let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear from you. If you have any questions, leave it down. And also, please, if you like these types of videos where I show different styles and just kind of give you the, the description of each, just please let me know down below. And if there is some information that you would like to see added in these types of videos, please let me know. I would love to hear from you and it will really help me out. I hope that everyone is having a fantastic day and I will see you next time. Bye.